Mm. Hello everyone, Fire Angel here, uh, with some friends. Who wants to get it? You, you're going to hear them in the background, regardless of where I have them. <laughs> They're in the bedroom. Uh, anyways, these are the results of the tea slop Halloween contest that I held. Kids, don't wander off too far. <laughs> Thank you, little girl. Boy, get back here. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, these are the results. I, I'm going to be for real with you. I had a different vision for this video in which it was going to be like compilation of all of them, like huge elaborate video. However, that would have only been possible if voting ended the 27th. Voting actually was extended all the way to pretty much when I woke up this morning. You play nice. Buddy's scared of the kittens. I can't. Yes, hi. Hello. Say hi to the camera. That was wonderful. <laughs> okay, fine. You can come up here. Come up here. And no, we don't want to see your butt. Yeah, hello. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like voting originally, like the way I had it planned out, all the videos will have been released from the 1st to 12th of October. And then the 13th was going to be the beginning of voting. She won't Hang on. I gotta go save your sister. Hang on. You gotta let go of me first. I know, you don't like heights, but we gotta go save your sister. <laughs> He's a cry baby. Sis, what are you doing all the way over here, freaking out buddy? Come on, your brother's looking for you. Here, look. Look. Sibling love, go. There. Entertain each other. <laughs> Okay, okay, fine. Look, I am a human jungle gym. Oh, now he's wandering off. <laughs> Get over here. Look, human jungle gym. Let's go. But yeah, thir the 13th was when voting began. And it was supposed to end two weeks later on the 27th. Get over here. Come on. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Come on. Look. Okay. I'm here. There. 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 Now. Oh, uh, yeah. Voting was supposed to end the 27th. However, no one actually voted by the 27th, so I extended it to originally, like, the Sunday, which I think was the 29th. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was first extended to the 29th, then I had to extend it to the 30th, because again, no one voted, and then I got some partial votes that weren't complete, and then finally I managed to get one decently complete vote, the one category they were undecided on what was going to be. You can't go into my slipper. My foot's in there. Oh, good. Mama Cat's here. Ivy, come on. Look after them for a minute, okay? <laughs> Preferably without the one running right by you. They, they like my slipper. Hello? Hi. Be nice. Ivy. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta go <laughs> get the kids. <laughs> but yeah, um I only got one vote that I considered completely um like completely counted for. 
the one category they were undecided, so I just went five. And then I had like I had like only one partial vote. Like I only had one partial vote, no other votes. I blame the fact that like I could have done a Google survey, except you know, I don't want to get hacked because this year's been crazy. Buddy, you're fine. And so Okay, fine. You can have my slipper because apparently you don't want the other slippers I set out for you. Slipper. See now that that worked. Put it in. Look, a slipper for both of you. Don't ruin them. They're my only good slippers. <laughs> No, 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 Levi be alone, Levi be alone. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's usually the boy who's wandering all around, now it's the girl. Be nice to my slipper. You stay. Stay close. Put your partial votes. Mm. Not like this is pretty much just gonna be the video, just a small little award ceremony. Mm. Right. But hey, at least I got one vote. But you yeah. next time, if there ever is a next time, because honestly, I don't think not after how this went, I don't think I'm gonna be doing another one anytime soon. You picking on buddy. What do you do? Dude? Come here. Quit picking on my cat. It's okay, buddy. Here, you stay here. Uh, but yeah, I also blame like uh, probably like everyone's probably busy. Like I don't know how everyone's lives were doing at the time. But yeah, I was hoping this would be a bigger hit. What? Beggar, like, beggars can't be choosers, so. Uh. Get over here. Your sister's over here, little boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look, come here. Your sister needs help. You don't care. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's my iPad. What did you do? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, here we are. Before we begin the award ceremony, um, come here, come here. Uh, I'd like to give a little shout out to everyone who managed to solve a clue. In which there's only a few, but. Yeah, I gotta scroll all the way to the top of the list. <laughs> so the the first clue that was solved um was solved by the real Daisy. She's over on Wattpad. But on Discord she managed to figure out the clue for uh It Feels So Good to Be Bad. Now, as you guys know, that is the song I picked for Ozone. And she managed to figure that out because of the Rickroll video I put up back in April or something. Uh, yeah, she's one of the few people that probably watched it to the very end and saw what it was. One, one kitten per slipper. You're not going to fit in there with your sis. I'm sorry. Look, see? Two of you, two slippers. No, don't worry, they're just, they're crybabies. But yeah, she watched it to the end and she saw the clue that was essentially, I literally typed, it feels so good to be bad in all caps. They were the only all like letters well, words with capital letters in them. 
And then that was that clue. Buddy, you're fine. And then sometime later, uh, another person from Wattpad, Death Watch person, they figured out two of the hidden picture clues, which were for Snowball and Gidget. Uh, I can't remember how he got the Snowball one, but the Gidget one, I think, you like that one, you could easily see a bow on it. No, I'm thinking that's how. I'm going to guess for the snowball one, the pirate captain, or at least the word captain, gave it away. I know. I know. <laughs> Don't ruin my slipper. They're, they're my only good ones. <laughs> but yeah, got that one. Where do you think you're going, little miss? Stay, sit. And then, a little while later... Uh, also on Wattpad, our official Max, uh, we call him Max the First, because he was the first of many Maxes on Wattpad. He managed to, he managed to get the reference in my book, If We Were Evil. Uh, first chapter, of course, it's the Max chapter. And he managed to find the similarities between how I described Max in that chapter and the one slur from Lorax. He didn't say, how bad can I be? But I gave him the win anyway, because like he got it, he got the reference right on the money. So I was like, oh, I gotta reward this. Where do you think you're going? There's nothing over there except Buddy, and I'm not having you torment him. <laughs> Smacked him in the nose really, and I saw the whole thing. And then the final uh, shout out is to Zoro Foxton. He he was a rooster on Wattpad. If you go back long enough, he was Racing Fox. I can't remember the old name. Uh, but he managed to figure out on a little game I made the day before I released Duke's video. I had a little guessing game for everyone. I was like, try and guess what song I gave this guy. And he managed to figure out Licorice Land after maybe a few hints. Hi. Yes. Hello. I'm trying to save your sister here. Okay, there, there you go. There. Are you going to climb up me? Where are you going? No, there goes your sister. <laughs> I set out a towel for you all to play on. I know it did. Let go. You gotta let go. There. Come here. Look. Come get your brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like to thank all, all four of you guys for figuring out some of the clues. And now, uh, see if I can find the vote. But yeah, my, uh, yeah, this video is probably not gonna be very long. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I say that as it's at thirteen minutes. But yeah, and we're gonna start this off. But are you trying? What are you doing? Alright, now one of the other little mini rewards I was going to give was essentially, like, which video got the most views and the most likes. That honestly is no competition if you look at my channel, because I think we all know which one passed by a long shot, too. But I'm going to go over it anyway, once I find it. Yeah, the video with the most views out of the contestants mm -hmm. at 1.7k views was none other than Max's video, How Bad Can I Be? And on top of that, let's see how many views. That one has tw tw uh, how many likes? 
That one also has 23 likes, which is more than any of the others. Like, this one got viewed more times than any of the others by a very long shot. I honestly think it's because I'm, I put that up on Wattpad. Like, I posted the link on Wattpad. And I didn't do that with any of the others, so obviously that one was going to get watched more times than any other. But yeah, like, for real, none of the others got even close to that. Like, Gidgets, it's at 167 with three likes. Oh, come on, stop. Stop, I know, it's an iPad. It's a wondrous thing. You kids don't need it right now, though. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm kind of just kind of letting them run their energy out before... Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Before I feed them. Buddy, you're not helping. They think there's a ghost in the kitchen. What are you meowing at? Okay, go explore, kids. Go explore. But don't go too far where I can't find you. But yeah, Gidget's got 167 views and 3 likes. Snowball got... Snowball got 174. Don't climb up my iPad. Get, get down. No, not the iPad. God. This is what I get for trying to set my iPad down on their level. <sighs> Look, I give you slippers, I give you a towel, I let you climb over me, and there's your aunt. Don't play with the iPad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Snowball's only got 174 and 2 likes. My lullaby, Daisy's, got 228 with 4 likes. Which ain't bad when you look at Max's. Duke got 378 with 3 likes. Rooster, oh jeez. Rooster got 436 with 6 likes. I'm pretty sure that's second place. Chloe got, am I looking at the right one? Chloe got 357 views and 6 likes. Uh, let's see. Buddy got 344 with 3 likes. Ozone got 331 with 5 likes. Tiberius got 321 with 5 likes. Mel got 216 with 3 likes. Not bad. And then Pops got 138 with 5 likes. That puts Pops in last place, I think. Yeah. Like, holy crap. <laughs> there she Oh. Hi. The frick is this? The frick is this? She don't like kittens. He knows. <laughs> Shoot, where they are. <laughs> I lost them. But yeah, well done, Max, on getting the most views and the most likes. But, yeah, now on to the major awards. And I'm going to start out, once I find... Let's see, I hope I found it. Okay, now... The, the vault I got, like I said, is mostly complete. The one category they couldn't decide on a winner. So I'm going to go to the one that I got that was partially complete. They just missed a major category. And yeah, but at least I got like a backup. And wish the category that the that the more complete one was 
undecided about. That was the best henchman. The awards are obviously who has who best represents their song. Um, we have the funniest one, the catchiest one, the fan favorite. The fan favorite was just going to be like, you pick your favorite, and then we see if that is also everyone else's favorite. Seeing how I only got like one complete one and one partial one. Yeah. Where are you going? Where's your brother? <laughs> There's the scariest one, best backstory. Very said catchiest. Uh, the most unexpected one, the believable one, and the one that deserves a redemption arc, and then there was, like, many themes. Buddy, keep an eye on her. And there goes Annie. <laughs> but, yeah. The best henchman, according to, um, the partially complete vote... That award was given to a uh, Gidget. And if you guys don't remember Gidget, I gave her, I put a spell on you. Her henchmen, her henchmen were pretty much the other girls, Chloe and Daisy. You are not scared of a tiny kitten. But yeah, Gidget gets the best henchman award. Well done, Gidge. Hello, hello. Now, that out of the way, I'm going to save the best for last. Alright, right, going to go down through this. Now, some, even though this one is the complete one, there were like some where it was a tie between two characters. Uh, I'll, I'll be the deciding factor on which one gets it, because I only won one person per award. Uh, but, yeah. And we're gonna start off with the... Oh, okay. Hey, 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 I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Swish is a jerk. I'm sorry, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Sersha, you jerk, stop hissing at the kittens. I can't even go over and save that one because I have to comfort this one. Stop it. Sersha, get over here. Stop it. Get over here. Either go back upstairs or go back to the bedroom. Some stop it. Jesus. Sersha. You're being ridiculous. But go on, get, go, shoot. Boy, because you don't like heights, you don't need to hold on to me, okay? Alright, we're trying this again. Okay, anyway, the funniest. That was essentially the funniest pairing between a song and the character I gave. I know, I'm sorry. Sorsha hates kittens. And apparently Buddy's frightened by them. But, uh, the funniest. Now, this person picked Mel or Buddy. Uh, I think it was a little bit of a misunderstanding between, um, pair, the word pairing. I think they meant, I think they thought I meant two characters. I meant a song and character. Because if you remember Buddy's, like, I'm gonna base this off on which one I found funnier. Buddy's was not meant to be funny. <laughs> that one actually was a contender for scariest. Yeah, it's okay. I know. Sorsha sucks sometimes. She's really not that bad, though. <laughs> You're tickling. <laughs> She's a different ticklish. So, I'm gonna give the funniest reward to Mel, who had the most ridiculous villain's theme song I could ever find. And which is Home on the Range, 2004's, uh, Yodel, Adol, Edel, Idol, O. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not yodeling it. <laughs> Can't 
do here. Just sit here, okay? Just there. Hmm, what do we see? Did you explore the big white world? Ow, those are claws. <laughs> the kittens have very needle like claws. <laughs> Beware. They're cute and fluffy, but they're sharp. Not the, the kittens themselves are cute and fluffy. The claws are sharp. Okay, hey, look, play with your brother. All right, yeah. but Fanius goes to Mel. Says me. Now, fan favorite, the complete vote vote, like, uh, the complete vote vote for Daisy who had my lullaby from The Lion King 2. Love that song. And personally, like, I liked working on that video. Out of all of them, that was my favorite to work on. Where do you think you're going? Uh, in case everyone's one, in case anyone's wondering, I actually thought Rooster was gonna get that one. And that's actually what the partial vote got. But Daisy, you win fan favorite, says one person. What are you all doing? Buddy, you're fine. It's a litter box. You are not constipated. You do this every time. Ow, ow. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. Just stay with your brother. He needs company. All right. Moving on to the scariest. Now, the complete vote put down Chloe or Tiberius. Chloe had Trust in Me from The Jungle Book 2016. You know, the one with Scarlett Johansson, the one that was freaking awesome. And then Tiberius had In the Dark of the Night from Anastasia. I'm going to give this award to Chloe based on not only like the song because it has like a creepy vibe to it like on like in the dark of the night is probably one of my favorites on this list and like and that's a song i would probably dance to if i knew how to dance trust in me that one's creepy like really freaking creepy and plus the fact that when you combine it with the backstory i gave chloe what's more terrifying than having the tabby cat from the Super Life Pets have enough with everyone, every single one of her neighbors, and go on a killing spree. It, Chloe gets the scary award. What are you doing? Get over here. Alright, come here. Alright, come here, come here. Now, the best backstory... Uh, essentially, on all the videos, I put like a little mini backstory for why each of them would become a villain. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Stop. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay. Time to go explore, kids. Time to go explore. <laughs> Are you just gonna sit here? Yeah. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Like, everyone got, like, a little mini backstory. Essentially on how they became a villain. Uh. And the complete vote? They voted for Daisy. Now let's see if I can remember what Daisy's was. Uh, it, Daisy's was obviously like my lullaby, and it involved Hugh. Backstory I gave her, she wants to protect Hugh from Sergei in the circus after an unfortunate incident took Snowball away from them. Yeah. Buddy! Jesus. But yeah, Daisy gets the best backstory. The catchiest song. Ooh, wait.
I just had to be sure of something because I don't know if I saw something. Buddy! Okay, anyways. The catchiest song was a tie between Max or Gidget. Uh, I think... I think this one, like, we, like, I discussed it with the person who made the vote. I think they said Gidget's was catchier. I can't remember. But I'll give Gidget the win. I, based on, I can't remember what our conversation was. Uh, I'm looking through our little chat, and I'm not finding it. Don't worry, don't worry. Just give me a few minutes. Uh, they're probably hungry. I'm going to feed them after this. If they don't wander off. Come here. Oh, she gone. She gone. <laughs> Get over here. Leave Buddy alone. He's terrified. But yeah, Gidget's gonna get the win for the catchiest. Uh, the most unexpected, which they had. We oh, she's like chasing him down. I gotta hurry to this. Uh, the unexpected was the character who got like the most unexpected song. And that was a tie between Rooster and Buddy. Uh, according to the vote, I'm going to give Rooster the win because I, because as popular as Be Prepared is, I don't think anyone would have guessed that I would have given Rooster it. I bet you all were probably thinking I'd give Ozone or Snowball it. No, sorry. The most believable villain out of all of them. Uh, like, which one clearly could have been a villain based on their song alone? That was a tie between the two that were villains, Snowball and Ozone. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah, that was a tie between Ozone and Snowball. I'm going to give Ozone the win because, like, his song matches him perfectly. Like, out of all the songs that I put with the characters, that one was, like, the perfect fit, in my opinion. It, it works so well. Uh, so I'm going to give Ozone the win for most believable. And then the redemption arc. This goes to the character that deserves a redemption after uh, this whole thing. That was given to Max, who had How Bad Can I Be?, uh, so I'm gonna guess like a redemption is trying to fix his mistakes, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. All right, now the mini theme showdown. I paired off everyone in a little showdown of themes because all the vi all the songs had like a certain theme to them. Uh, they were supposed to fight it out essentially. All right. So, do, 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 going down through this list. Alright, so, Blinded by His Desire was represented by Max and Gidget. Vote says Gidget. Taste for Revenge was Snowball and Daisy. They voted Daisy. Conquerors of the World was Duke versus Rooster. Duke actually got that. Holy crap. <laughs> well done, Duke. Well done. Doomed Fate. This was a category where, essentially, if you faced this villain, you were probably going to die. Uh, that was between Chloe or Buddy, and that was given to Chloe. We Rise Again. This was a character that, essentially, it was dead or some kind of that. And Rose... From the grave, from the ground, what? Why are you squeaking at me for? Hi, you're cute, but loud. You're very loud. I don't know how his sister stands him. Uh, but yeah, we rise again. That 
That's the furnace. <laughs> we rise again. That was between ozone or Tiberius. You know I had to do that. You know I did. If you know me on my pad, you know. And that one went to Tiberius. And then not what they seem. Uh, these are characters that, like, you... Uh, how did I describe this category? Uh, not what they seem. These were characters who were, like, they they trick you, essentially, with, a, like, a false persona, something like that. And that was between Mel or Pops. This was given to Pops. Uh, yeah, that was the mini themes category. And last but not least, we have the big award of who had the best theme song, who best represent their theme. If you ask me, I honestly would have given this to Rooster. The partial vote also voted Rooster. However, I can only count the completed version in which they actually went with Tiberius. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, they're play fighting. <laughs> but yet yeah, that was all the awards. Um, if you guys ever want me to do something like this again, you're going to have to do a lot of begging. Because honestly, I'm probably never going to do something like this again until I feel like it'll work. But, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys all had a fabulous Halloween. I, I did. I got to dress up as a mummy for work. <laughs> uh, hardly anyone showed up, though, so I can scare little kids. Where do you think you're going? Come here. Say hi to the camera. That was perfect. You you understood the assignment. <laughs> That's a good boy. That's a good boy. And you're scared. It was cute. He was licking the kitten's head. And then I turned the camera and he's all freaking... He's freaking out. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Uh, I will see you all later. Uh, bye.